So hello everyone, uh, I'm here with um, with Nick. Nick has been with us, uh, how long have you been with us Nick? Almost two months. Almost two months. And um, Nick is a videographer extraordinaire. Um, he's worked on uh, a couple of projects. One of the biggest ones is Sasson, right? Sasson. Yeah, Sasson. I was uh, a uh, Latin Pond Stars. And Latin Pond Stars, which we just finished, yeah. what was last weekend? Last weekend. weekend. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. So that, that one's going to come out soon. I think it's going to get a lot of a lot of uh, attention kind of hopefully yeah, I think so I think so I think it was a I think it's very creative and, and new way to kind of come up with a, a comical skate yeah with uh, but I, I, I can see it turning into almost like a, a series well, yeah. is it Latin Pond Stars or are we calling it Lost Pond Stars? Uh, Lost Pond Stars, I think it's still like Lost Pond Stars. Hey guys, listen, whatever you guys want, whichever one you think looks better, sounds better, Lost Pond Stars or Hispanic Pond Stars? No, not Hispanic. Latin, Latin, Latin Pond Stars. Latin Pond Stars. We started, we were calling it Latin Pawn Stars, we'll call that working title, Los Pawn Stars, Luis came up with. Okay. I got so one I of the, went a bit better. One of the two, comment below, let us know. Which Los Pawn Stars, Latin Pawn Stars. One of the two. The right. parody of Pawn Stars. The, yeah, basically, yeah. So that, that was that was very, very fun. And um, and shout out to, um, what was it, Best Pawn Star? No, it was uh, Best Pawn. Best Pawn. Off Georgia Avenue. Off of Georgia Avenue, yeah, because they were really gracious enough to allow us to use their their location for that, that so that was really cool to them. Um, hope to uh, help them and do do more work with them here in the near future. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So okay. So you've been with us for two months. I mean, what what inspired you to kind of come want to you know work with us? Uh, I was just looking for jobs online, and I can't remember where I saw your ad. It was probably like a glass door or something. And uh, respond and uh, message you guys. You messaged me back sure. to come in for an interview. And if you don't remember, I forgot. Or there's a communication problem, and I right. didn't think I got the job or something. Right, right, right. But I never got a phone call or anything. Right, so right. So then, but then you called me. It's like, hey, you missed your interview. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. There was a, a logistical issue. Yeah. yeah, but we did the interview right there. And it sounded pretty cool. Yeah. Came in the first day, and we were doing uh, throwing around throwing around ideas, like funny ideas for, for this for social skits. For social skits. Uh, like, right. That's pretty cool. Yeah. This is like kind of creative outlet that I was looking for. You're really looking for. Cool. And then um, I think the first thing we did was the uh, Siri versus Alexa. You for, yeah. And that was fun. That yeah. was a lot of fun just throwing around ideas. And then you guys came up with the, uh, initially came up with the idea for Latin Pawn Stars, which we're now thinking of Louis Pawn Stars. And then I wrote a script for that and you guys liked it. Yeah, it was, it was great. Yeah. Good work. It was and, amazing. And then we went to, and then I found the pawn shop and we got everything together. And then you guys were actually in the film, and I was directing it and yeah. shooting it, and yeah, it turned out pretty well. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. So yeah, we'll, we'll definitely put the link below when, once we get it here, but probably another, what, two weeks before it's done? Yeah, right. Another, we'll put, oh, like, oh, next week. I think one, one week. Yeah, so next week, yeah. So sometime next week it should be out. But, um, so, you know, so you've been with us two months. I mean, so tell me, like, you know, have what have you learned in that time frame? Uh, working in a group as a team. Never done that before. Really? Really, never, yeah. My projects in the past, it was always just me. Uh -huh. So um, it's just cool to see how a production works together. Yeah. So I think that's the thing I've learned the most. It's a beautiful and chaotic thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's something you definitely get used to. Yeah, it's got a lot of moving parts, trying to, like a lot of logistical stuff yeah. you know, happening. Yeah, but it's also, yeah, like I said before, a good way to bounce off ideas. And like, even when we were shooting up. Pawn stars on the day of, we were coming with different ideas right. on set, so that was fun. Yeah, so that, it's definitely, uh, definitely better in some ways. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, it, it's always fun, especially when you, you know, you work in a team environment. Everybody's got, um, you got a great, a, a great group of creatives, and everyone's got a lot of creative ideas, and mm -hmm. um, you know, everyone on the team really pitches in. So I think that's one of the things that really makes us unique as a, as a team. Yeah. Um, so, what is maybe something that you learned about, I guess, Hispanic culture? that you may not have known of before, I mean... Um, some of the uh, ingredients, like adobo, 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 adobo. Oh, yeah. yeah, something like that, um, sassonado, sassonado yeah. things I've never heard of before. Yeah. Was, yeah. I've been meaning to hit up a, a market somewhere and buy those and just try them out. Oh really? Uh, okay, alright. So yeah, working on Saison, which is the uh, the cooking show. Right. So that's where I learned you know, ingredients stuff. like that, so, yeah, yeah. Um, stuff like that. That's probably the thing that sticks out the most. Yeah. So um, yeah. So we'll definitely we'll probably have to do some kind of uh, some dinner and have a whole bunch of Latin food come in. Yeah. From one of our partners and and get them in here to, to do that. So um, yeah. So I, I I'd, I'd love to see or hear your feedback after you get to start trying a lot of that yeah. yummy goodness. 
um, that's you know it's, it tastes great, but it's horrible for you. <laughs> like, I mean, it's yeah, it's, it's I mean it's you know Hispanic comfort food. Okay. You know it's it's it's, it's great stuff. Sounds great. Oh yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> so um, so what do you what what do you envision for like the company in the future? I mean, like how do you see, you know, five years five years from now, how do you see us? Uh, probably much bigger. Like outgrowing this building, I think. Yeah. That's definitely more how I, how I see it. More people on the team, which would add to the chaos, I think, right? Yeah. But um, We like chaos. Definitely bigger. Yeah. yeah this is cool, but um, I think right now there's only like five or six of us. Right. And uh, definitely growing. You were talking about opening offices in different cities, so yeah, that would be pretty far in the future, but yeah, yeah that would definitely yeah. be cool. Yeah, I mean, we are um, we are talking to, um, to some specific uh, realtors now that... Uh, or a, spe a specific realtor, yeah. right? About trying to uh, start laying the foundation and having our own, our own uh, building, yeah. or, or bigger office space, you know, one or two within a building, uh, much larger, uh, towards the end of the year. Yeah. Um, so we're working towards that right now. But yeah, I think you know we're starting to 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 outgrow uh, this this space here is definitely definitely something I think we're starting to outgrow. It's getting crowded. Yeah, they're literally just c competing with other people who are trying to use these offices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, kind yeah. of funny. It's, it's crazy. But, I mean, it, it's worked for us, and it's been, you know, it's met the need for so long. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I think we've been in these spaces almost three years. Yeah. And um, it, it hasn't been until recently that, you know, more people have been coming in and utilizing yeah. them. So, um, and, and that's cool, great for them. You know, I'm glad they're they're growing. But you know, I think it's it's coming up on time for us to grow, grow and leave as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So with that said, um, so yeah. So you learned a little bit more about Latin food culture. Yeah. Um, what is something that you'd like to see us? I'd like to see us uh, as a, as like a show. Whatever. What, what, what you 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 Oof. you're king for the day. What 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 would you what uh, would you where would that. you take this? Um, definitely. More Latin pon, more Louis Ponsar. More like Louis that. Yeah, that's okay. our, yeah, that was my thing. So <laughs> I would really need <laughs> to expand. Okay. Um, as, a, as a show, maybe when we get bigger and more money, maybe like travel somewhere. Tra travel. <laughs> Definitely okay. travel, like you know, locally, like Miami or something, or overseas to, or not overseas, but you know, down south somewhere. And do like something on location. On location. Just send me there. So just, just you just want to go. Yeah, just send me there. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, that's, that's cool, man. Yeah. That's definitely something. Um, oh, maybe like working with uh, uh, was it Univision? Like they're, they're, they're the the largest Hispanic. Well, yeah. So it's network. between Univision, Telemundo, Telemundo um, Zero, um, but yeah. they're you know they're more tra traditional Latin media. So they're they're you know to some oh, extent. In Spanish. Yeah, they're all in Spanish okay. for the most part. I mean, they're trying to. I mean, more recently they started, you know, uh, imitating or mimicking our model where they're doing more English language content yeah. or bilingual content to yeah. reach the same market, but. Um, they've always had trouble trying to reach that market because okay. I don't think they've, uh, you know, I think what makes us unique is one that, you know, we have so many young folks, you know, like yourself and mm -hmm. and that are interested in Hispanic culture yeah. and um, and the team or I guess our culture really emulates a lot of what the audience is looking for. So we, we do a really good jo job of filling that gap. Yeah. Um, you know, because our demographic, they predominantly speak English, yeah. and or they're bilingual. Yeah. Right. And even though they're bilingual, they typically consume all their content yeah. in English, right? So, and I think it was like this past summer, like uh, Google put out a report saying that you know Hispanics consume, uh, uh, or sixty percent of Hispanics consume their content in, in English yeah. and not in Spanish. So, yeah. so that's something very you know. You know that we've been we've seen as a kind of a strategic play for that long time. Right. Well, yeah, definitely uh, maybe some kind of working with them, yeah. co-oping with them somehow. That'd be kind of, okay. That'd be definitely cool. Cool. If I were king for a day. If you were king for a day. Of both networks. Of both. Told them you guys. Of you yeah, said everybody. Can, <laughs> we're together. gonna see, yeah. we're gonna work together. <laughs> yeah, that that'll be interesting. I, I mean, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be opposed to it. Mm -hmm. You know, if they would, uh, you know, if they were open to it, we yeah. could definitely talk about it. Um, so outside of that, I mean, you know. What like so? Tell us, you know, before you came to us, like, what are some projects you actually worked on? Um, did a whole. I was living in New Orleans for a while, and I worked on some projects down there, like a made-for-television movie, um, my own projects. Uh, I was working with uh, locally. I was working with uh, um, kind of a similar group who had their own idea for us. It's called Social. Uh, I can't say their name. Can I say their name one here? Yeah, you can say whatever. You okay, so they're called Social Slay, and they were kind of doing something similar, but instead of Hispanic uh -huh. culture, it was like black African-American culture okay so that was kind of cool but they weren't 
nearly as organized, so it was kind of oh, tough. They were like, okay, <laughs> they were like, they were like brand new. Um, so like it was, yeah. that was well, it's know. growing pains, right? All part of like the entrepreneurial process. Yeah, right? exactly. Start off it wasn't bad. It was still a learning experience, yeah. and it did prepare, prepare me for this a little bit. Oh, cool. But, yeah. So from so, how about from an entrepreneurial perspective? Is there anything that you see like new or different, or that you've learned from, you know, the business side of the house? Uh, well, the business side is like really this is, like the kind of the first I've seen of it. Like, you know, this is pretty professional, I would consider, and it's definitely cool. And I see like uh, Kwan and whoever split off and do their thing, and then you know, there's a marketing, and you guys are talking about like Roku giveaways and stuff. So there's not just filming and right. stuff, you know, there's other marketing and stuff like that going on, which yeah. I've not really, never really been exposed to, so right, that's right, definitely, right, right. That's yeah, all so that's new to me. That's yeah, so it's, I mean, you're kind of taking the product right from, yeah. you know, the product being the film or whatever you produce, right? Yeah. It's from the pre-production planning to the filming to the post-production yeah. to getting it out to social media. That part's different. Right, and that part's different. different. And then, in addition to, like, product placement, you know, yeah, product the, placement. You know all that, the, st the sales aspect, and then getting everything done where... You know, so you're kind of seeing that full life cycle. Yeah. Like, like in the last season I did, um, I think it was Joe's, Simply Joe's sauce. Yeah. That was definitely, yeah. that was his thing. So that was his thing, yeah. Trying to like get it out there. So yeah. she was reading it. Right, <laughs> right, right. And then like, you know, we, we're, we're getting a lot of calls because of the, uh, you know, the guy de la boca, his glass of wine that he always yeah. sends out, right? Yeah. So, um, you know, we've got a lot of uh, Hispanic wines that want to be featured okay. as, you know, in place of that as well. So that's okay. kind of... That's kind of uh, interesting, uh, and, and you'll see more of that as, as we go, you know, further in the episodes. Um, so in the Sasson, like we're getting ready to release what next week, right? Yeah. 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 Are you excited we're about really it? Like that. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be cool to see uh, how it's released and where it's going to go. Is it yeah. going to go on the website or what? So it, it'll be uh, it'll be on the Roku yeah. channel. All, yeah. all, all four episodes, or at least the first four, and then we're already getting ready for uh, episode what five and six. Okay. You know, and and you know we're going to get up to twelve and see how it does, but. Um, you know, clearly we have derivative content that will go on the website and that will go on to social media, which is good. Um, so speaking of which, so you, you, were, you mentioned earlier um, that, you know, you kind of always worked on your own. So now you're working with like a producer yeah. on this. Now, how's that dynamic? A producer? Uh, yeah, that's good. I mean, you're pretty easy going. So it's not like you're like down or next or anything. Like right. We're pretty free to do what we do. And then, um, yeah, it's good. Yeah. But, I don't mind taking orders or anything like that. No, right? you're like no, not 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 from that that aspect. But I mean, like you know, so you have like uh, you know, I, I, so you're working with like Sasha as, as a oh, associate okay, producer, okay, right? Yeah, yeah. And like you know, what's that dynamic? Because now she's she's helping you like pointing out pointing out where, some where issues and like to, helping you you know figure out what yeah. cuts to use and yeah, it's only good to have an extra pair of eyes. And the you know, same thing when we were coming with the ideas for you know the uh, you know Siri and all that. You know, before I would just have my ideas, right? And then, uh, but now it's just bouncing off, and it's better. Cool. Yeah, it's definitely better to have more than one person talking about the same thing. Awesome. So, well, um, so I think that pretty much does it, though. Um, anything you'd like to tell our audience, or say on behalf of us, or? Uh, no, so far, great content. Enjoy what I'm doing here, and then uh, definitely check out the finished products of what we're doing. Yeah, definitely. So that definitely. would be yeah. So I lead T Networks on Roku, and make sure to follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Um, Nick, yeah. love having you here, man. Thank you so much. You're doing a great job. Looking forward to seeing you know more of your work. Right. Yeah, awesome. Cool. Yeah, Jason, it was good. All right. Thanks. All right, guys, till next time.